In North Carolina, some counties want the governor to do the same. Henderson County leaders want mask mandates lifted in the classroom. 7 News' Melanie Palmer tells us why. A letter sent to North Carolina's Governor Roy Cooper details why Henderson County leaders believe mask mandates in schools across the state need to be lifted as soon as possible. However, not all parents are on board. They erase our facial expressions. Some children, the only smile they get is from their teacher. Emotions running high at Henderson County's Board of Commissioners latest meeting. We think there's more negative than positive in the public schools, so we ask the governor in our letter that he reconsider that. They want state mask mandates lifted as soon as possible, especially in schools. We feel that all the information that the federal government and state government has provided to us indicates that masks in public schools is not going to have a significant impact. We'll cautiously ease some restrictions starting Friday, April the 30th. Governor Roy Cooper is already lifting some of those restrictions, like doing away with outdoor mask mandates starting Friday. As far as the other protective measures, I think we've run the course. Chairman of the Henderson County Board of Commissioners, William Lapsley, thinks it's a step in the right direction, but he tells us they're more focused on the classroom. <laughs> For Nathan Lida, whose son is gearing up for the baseball diamond, he thinks masks are a good idea, but likes the thought of them being optional. If they're in close proximity, then they probably should keep them on. And, uh, but when they're outside and stuff like that, I think they should be able to take them off. Nicole Rice, on the other hand, says it is what it is. I don't think they work as good as everybody thinks they do. It's a law, so let's just get through it and get on with it, I guess. Adding, her son likes the masks. And none of this changes much for the school district here in Henderson County. A spokesperson with the district tells us face coverings will continue to be required indoors and in public places. In Henderson County, Melanie Palmer, 7 News. This latest executive order from Governor Cooper also increases the number of people who can gather indoors to 100 and outdoors to 200.